Hello guys. Excel charts are sometimes very tricky and we have to deal with multiple dimensions and bring in multiple sources of data in one chart, which is sometimes not very easy. Today I'm going to share a few tips about how to bring two axes together, multiple axes or combo axis. So in this case, for example, you can see we have collections from our customers and the percentage of OOT versus the open items. So if I see this, this is um, a column showing me the percentages. On the other hand, I have numbers here. And you can see I have in my chart on one place numbers and on other place or other side, I have percentages. So this means that my graph is working in parallel. On one side, it's showing the numbers for these bars and whereas line is showing the percentages. So this type of chart, which has two axes together, it is called combo charts. Normally, it is not simply available. So for example, I have this data with me and I want to create a chart for this. What will happen is the moment I will select this data and I'll go to insert and charts. For example, I select one and you can see it shows down there. For example, let me select it. Now it shows down there the OD percentage, but I cannot see the numbers because I don't have a second axis here. So normally in the charts, this is not possible to see it like this. Even here, I've changed the type, but still I don't see uh, OVDs anywhere because that is only percentage. So when percentage is taken, it is somewhere hidden down there. So you cannot see it really. So for that reason, um, if, I, if I go and try any other layouts, I'll definitely not be able to see the results that I want to see. So my tip for you is that whenever you have to select such a thing, first of all, select your data, go to insert recommended charts. When you select the recommended charts, there are the recommended options for you, though these are not showing what you want to see. So go to all charts here, all charts. When you go on the all charts, there is something called combo at the very end. Now you select the combo, when you select the combo, it shows you a chart over here, but the chart still is not perfectly what you want to see. So down there, you can see two series here. One is the series for collections. Yes, this is the series that we can see here. The other series is the line series, which is overdue percentage. Now I want to pull this overdue percentage in between on the other side. So series on the right side as well. So for that reason, I'll have to add here secondary axis. Now you see my numbers are there on the right side and the line is also showing the correct data. So line is following the percentage, whereas the bars are following the numbers. Now, both of them are set up. I'll simply select, okay, I'll remove this title. There we go. My table is ready. I can shape it up the way I want. And if I want to change more, I can go to these colors. I can choose a color of my choice. I can go and select any other features if I want to bring in. That's my choice. I can select any of the features from here. You can see there are different types here. You can choose even the layouts if you want of your own choice, a bit different from what I can see here. So now you can do and you can play anything you want to do with your charts. It's available here. It's ready. You have both the accesses here. On one side, you have this percentages. On the other side, you have these numbers. Now you can see both on both the axes. So guys, I hope this was uh, helpful and I hope you learned it. Looking forward to talk to you again. Till the time we talk next time, good luck. Bye-bye.